look at this one right here, right? I've got this big spike in snoring and this big drop yeah. in oxygen, right? Yeah. But also if you just like step back a little bit, you can circle that kind of one inch area. You can circle this cluster of snoring and the cluster of, of uh, yeah, exactly. And then the one next to it, you see that how it correlates and the one next to that and, and the one next after that, you know, and, and so on. And then, um, and then you can see that it's not, it, is it, is it positional? I think it is kind of a little bit positional, but you're on your back a lot during the night. Does that make sense? So you can see that in the supine position, which means your back, a lot of these occur. I don't see much occurring in the other positions, but you weren't in the other positions very much, right? Yeah. Well, you know what I used to do, and I'm aware that I'm much worse when I'm in supine, which is to say on my back. So what I used to do is uh, wear a backpack with two balloons in it to force me to sleep on my side. It makes oh. it impossible for me to roll onto my back because I will just go to my back no matter how hard I try not to. For some reason, my body loves the back, yeah. being on the back. Um, and yet I know that it's not good for me because that's when my wife tends to catch me snoring and I tend to wake up from supine with headaches when I do. Um, so I'm aware of supine being problematic for me well you know supine is the healthiest position you know if you sleep sleeping on your side is actually abnormal for too long because you can hurt your spine and and whatnot um but the problem is if you have sleep disorder breathing then sometimes sleeping on in the supine position can worsen your breathing um huh and yeah so it's it's you're saying it's it's natural and normal for me to w want me to be on my back. I mean to the point that my body would rather be on my back and have sleep disordered breathing than be on my side and not or yeah. have less of it, which is kind yeah. of insane. I think we're used to the concept of sleeping on your side being normal, but really it's your back. And honestly like you know in the hospital we these patients that are kind of comatose, we have to move them every couple hours or so. I can't remember the exact time frame so they don't get decubitus ulcers. But really, you shouldn't move more than every you know hour or two at the most, right? And then change positions and then change positions back just so you don't get an ulcer. <laughs> I mean, your body would naturally do that, right? But you should be mostly on your back, preferably. I should also add, by the way, that this sleep study occurred on a bed that had a six inch incline. So the head of the bed was elevated six inches above the feet. So the whole bed is angled like this with mm. my head up. Mm. Um, so which I helped your breathing. I find that to be much more comfortable. I've been doing it for seven or eight years now. Um, but I would imagine that if I were sleeping on a flat surface, these numbers would be worse. Yeah, but I wonder what your heart rate would be. Maybe your heart rate would be lower. I don't know because it has to work harder to get your your blood to your head. That's a good observation. So then, which is to say that it's uh, not good to uh, to to sleep inclined, or are you just saying that maybe we need a different sense of norm normal when we have an inclined sleeper when it comes to heart rate? I mean, we don't know if these are unknowns. That's why you track everything. But you know, the ideal position is you sleep on your back, your head just gently bowed forward a little bit with a very, very thin pillow, which helps close the mouth. And then that's it. That's, that's it. And there's nothing more to it than that. Mm. All right. Is there anything okay. more we can see yeah, in this? Let's, let's go to that next page on that right. watch pad. Here? Yeah. yeah. So this page is interesting. Um, I'm just going to look at the PRDI uh, in the body position stats. So, on, so, you know, you're not really worse on your back than your non-back. You notice that you're 9.1 in the supine position and the far right, you're 8.5 in the non-supine position. Mm. You see that? So it didn't mm -hmm. really matter, but this gives me clues. Look, I'm trying to, I'm trying to milk as much as I can out of this watch pad report for your care. <laughs> Cause that's all I got. <laughs> thank you. No, thank you for that. And so what it shows is that your right and left side, there's a discrepancy. You're 12.6 on your left side and you're 5.4 on your right side. <clears throat> you notice that? Yeah. And so what that means is that um, if you're, what that would probably mean is that your right side is blocked, right? Correct? Yes. The right side is the bad side. Yeah. And so the reason why your numbers are better on the right side is because when you sleep on the right side, you're already blocked on that side. 
and then gravity blocks it more. So whatever, it's a small loss, but your mm. left side is open and stays open. But when you sleep on your left side like that, now you're blocking your good side with gravity and fluid and whatnot. And now the right side is bad to begin with. Wow. And so now you're blocking both. So based on this, if you just said, treat this patient, you have not, you cannot see this patient. You cannot do anything with this patient, but look at this watch pad. I say, go to an ENT and fix your nose. No kidding, huh? Wow. You like that? Um, yeah, I love that. I love that. You know what's the worst part? <laughs> the worst part is, uh, isn't it weird how when with couples, like one, you, you get fixed onto a certain side of the bed? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm the right side of the bed. So I prefer to sleep on my left so I can face the overhang of the bed where it's open and clear. And so that's the bad side for me to sleep on. That's my left. Because if I sleep on my right, then what happens is my little baby daughter kicks and scratches at my face all night. So yeah. I'm just screwed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or you can get a good nose doctor and, and fix it. Yeah. True. Or I, my wife and I can switch. Yeah, um, oh yeah, that's easier. 